Have you ever wanted to try to figure out how to cut yourself out of a background because you really like the image, but you don't want to use the background? If so, stay tuned. This video is for you. How's it going? This is Digital DIY Geek from DigitalDIYGeek.com and in this video it's all about showing you how to cut yourself or other objects out of a background so that you can use that image inside of your image. So really quickly, if you didn't watch the last video about understanding backgrounds and things like that, I recommend you take a moment, look in the description area below, you'll find all the links down there from the very original video, which is the overview, and you'll also find the video to how to use backgrounds and basically do backgrounds in Infinity Photo. In this one, once you understand those things, you're going to want to naturally know how to cut things out of an image. And that's what this one is all about. So let's dive in. All right, so here we are inside of Infinity Photo. And really quickly, I'm just going to pull in an image to be able to use. So we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to say paste. We're going to say place photo. We can say place photos from, let's do from photo library and we can see right here I have some pictures of me and let's see which one do I want to use let's use this one this one seems interesting so really quickly if you remember the photo is not gonna pop up until I actually drag it out and then if, then it'll pop up as you can see I love having on my hat and headphones I don't know why that's just one of my quirks I suppose now Here's what you have to understand about cutting anything out. There's many different ways of doing it, literally. In Infinity Photo, there's many different ways to be able to cut out a photo out of here. But as marketers, we're not trying to look like we a photographer or, you know, we super crisp with it. So we're not going to be trying to fix the edges and all that stuff. We have a simple fix for it. So with this, good enough is good enough. And you have to remember with YouTube, when you shrink the image down, People are not going to see those little, small, itty bitty imperfections. So I recommend you not get caught up in that. And plus, the more you cut out, the better you're going to get at it anyway. And eventually, it's going to become super easy for you to do it and be able to do whatever you want. But just getting started, I'm going to show you two different ways of cutting it out. All right. The first way is if you look at the bottom, you can see the pen tool right here. If you drop the pen point, and we zoom in, you drop a pin point, and I'm gonna move that one because that was a bad drop. Then you can see where I'm able to just drop it and we can go along here and just cut them out. And this way right here is probably one of the best ways to do it. However, it's time consuming. And then you have ways you can move it around just like Photoshop and you can do all that cool stuff. Now, because I don't think this is gonna be the way you wanna do it, you can do it like this. This is my preferred way of doing it, but again, it's time consuming. I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this. So I'm gonna just back out of all of this, but I just wanted to show you that you can do it using a pen tool, and we're gonna come off the pen tool, and at the very top, you can see it's purple. The purple icon go one over to the rope. That is your selection tool. And you can click one down from the hand, and that is your smart brush. And what this does is you're going to want to make sure it's on add, and you're going to just drag, drag it out. Now, for me, I need to actually make my brush a little bit bigger. So you're going to drag it out, and it's going to automatically snap to the edges. Now, if it's not automatically snapping to the edges, that's mean you need to, where it says snap to edges, you need to turn that on. Then after that, we can zoom in just to make sure that we haven't missed anything. So I can see where I need to add some more. So I'm going to take my brush stroke down just a little bit because I want my glasses to be inside there. Now, if I want to subtract something, I can just do that. If I want to add something, I can just do that. And the way I'm doing that is if you look at the bottom, it says mode. Mode right now is add, which means I'm adding the things that I want to keep so the everything that's inside of my selection I want to keep it so that's adding now subtraction is everything that I want to make go away so for example if 
for oversimplification, if I did this right here, that added, so maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want to take that away. So I would say subtract and bring that line back in. Really, really simple to do. Now, after you've done that and you've made your selection, the only thing left for you to do is to come up here to where it says layers. You're going to click on the flag icon and you're going to say new mask layer. And that's it. It's just that easy to cut anything out. Now, you may be looking at my glasses and say, okay, well, your glasses look weird. Well, I can zoom in and cut those things out from around my glasses and I can show you that really quickly just in case you wear glasses. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to say subtract. So subtract is already done and I'm just going to add in. Actually, I want to add that stuff back in. And then after that, I'm going to go with a lower one and I'm going to take that out like so. And let's see here. So I might have to do this one in two strokes because they keep giving me the one that I don't want. So I might have to do this in two strokes. And what I mean by that is, let's say subtract right here. We're just going to add all this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in two ways. I'm going to say new pixel layer to get rid of that. Then after that, I'm going to say deselect. So now this selection is done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say subtract. I'm going to say add because I want to take this away. Now the problem here is I won't be able to completely take away my glass, the coloring that's shining through my glasses because it's actually overlaying my glasses. So let me see if I can make it a little bit better. So you see it's automatically doing it. Now I could go in, now when you have these issues, you can refine it, but the problem with refining is it doesn't always work out. So let me show you what I mean. At the very bottom, if you click on that, that's refining. That's me telling them. So now what I could do is I could say, okay, selection, overlay, and I could make this smaller until Infinity Photo to take a look at these edges and if it can distinguish between the two, it will remove that line but because it can't distinguish between the two because if you look at it you can see where that orange is bleeding through my glasses it's not going to work so i can actually do, do these edges as well and again it's not going to work either so it so when you're taking pictures you want to be mindful of this type of stuff now we can go into the pen tool and correct this so let me show you what i mean let's go here I'm going to actually leave, I'm going to actually unselect this stuff. So I'm going to say deselect and I'm going to go into the pen tool. Now the pen tool will allow me to drag around the edges like so and get as close to it as I can without actually cutting out my glasses. And this right here would work and of course if you wanted it to be cleaner or neater all you have to do is take a little bit more time but for the sake of video i'm trying to do it as quick as possible then after that i can come here and say select that and after that what i could do is i could come up in here and say background erase and it'll let me erase that. Then after that, what I could do is I could double tap, say deselect. So now that's been deselected. And again, I know this looks crude, but once we see the finished one, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look like this. So I could do the same thing again. Again, remember we clicked on pen. We could just go around the edges and we could say select 
and we can say erase make sure we change it to background erase and then after that we just click inside and that line stops us from erasing anything we don't want to erase then we touch two fingers deselect come down and as you can see you can already start to see that you can barely see it we can see it so good because we were zoomed in now we can say select and you can see right here if i zoom in i took off some of my button but that doesn't matter because i don't usually use the whole photo and what i mean by that is if i was doing this i would zoom it out to probably like right here and then i would position the position this back a little bit and maybe i would let me see if i zoom it make it a little bit bigger that's too big and i would have it like this because i would want me to be looking out at whatever i want them to whatever i want to grab their attention and just to show you which we're going to talk about this but i'll give you a sneak peek right now if we click on effects click on outline and then we turn this up a little bit as you can see those colors are not going to matter so for example we wouldn't have it as black we would have it as white and let me just create a background so you can see the difference and we're going to take make that background let's make it red and we're going to take the layers we're going to take the triangle and put it underneath that and now you can see where if we click, go back here, click on the image, and go back to effects, click on that, now we can see that when we actually do it, do our outline, it's not going to really matter. And then we click on the select tool to get off there. And when we shrink this down to the size of a thumbnail for YouTube, we can see that you really can't tell the difference. You really can't. And that's how easy it is to cut yourself out or cut out like those little nuances. Again, there are better ways to do this, such as going freehand. If you're like an artist or you draw really good, then you can go freehand. However, I'm a marketer. So this is the easiest way I found to be able to do it. This is how easy it is to cut yourself out of a background. Not only cut yourself out, but you can cut out anything you want. You can cut out maybe a product or something like that that you're holding or maybe something inside your video. Now, the only thing I would recommend is if you know you're taking a, vi you're taking a picture for your thumbnail or for your template, make sure you take a picture that allows you to be off the background make sure you're looking straight so your glasses isn't like looking to the side like mine was and i had all the coloration going on and things like that you want to be mindful of those things so that way when it comes to you doing your thumbnails doing your edits your life is just a lot easier so with that being said if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this make sure you give me a thumbs up so i know you like this type of stuff if you didn't like this video Give me a thumbs down if you got a question for me or would like to know how I did something I was maybe moving too fast or you didn't see what I was pushing, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I answer your questions. And as always, if you really want to learn how to build a business from scratch and you really want to take your marketing affiliate marketing business to the next level, check out Commission Kickstart. Over there, you take a quiz, and if you qualify, you'll be able to get a free course from me, literally 100% free course from me, no strings attached. And yeah, I'll be able to show you how to do this thing. So with that being said, this is Digital DIY Geek from DigitalDIYGeek.com. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Later.